Nechilila Praveshta Om Vishnu Pai, Astotra Sat Sri Srimad, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, and the same unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipful Shiksha Gurudev, Nechilila Praveshta Om Vishnu Pai, Astotra Sat Sri Srimad, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, to Srila Bhakti Vigyan Bharati Goswami Maharaj, and to all the associates of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada. Шрилы Бхактиданты Свами Прабхупады такое же количество бесчисленных поклонов у лотосных стоп моего Шикша Гуру Дева и Телину Правишты и Омешну Пада Штота Рашата Шрилы Бхактиданты Нарайна Госвами Махараджа также Пуджа Паду Бхактиригена Барати Махараджу и всем лучезарным спутникам Шрилы Бхактиданты Сарасвати Такуры и всем преданным And to all the glorious assembled devotees Вся слава собравшимся преданным I'm always embarrassed to speak here because I only know a few sentences of nectar which I repeat again and again where you have a notion of nectar right here who just introduced me. Gurudev personally told me I mentioned last time, but there are new people here today. That when I complained to Srila Gurudev that Prem Priyajana Prabhu, for him, learning verses is a plaything, like a game, so simple and natural, whereas for me, I have to learn the same verse again every day. So Gurudev said, you will, he didn't say when in the future, but that's because he has so many lives on the background. So I'm going to start today where we left off last week. And where we left off is right in the corner of that room over there when Prem Priyajana Prabhu asked me a question. Because I had mentioned that Gurudev said that there are minimum hundreds of thousands of pastimes within this one painting. Prabhu asked, why do you think Srila Gurudev uh, told you just to have one particular verse <coughs> at the bottom of the painting? That, that verse is Smara Galara Kamdanam Mama Shirushimananam Dehi Parapalavam Udaram. Krishna is saying to Rarani, the uh, Cupid, the fire of Cupid has devastated me. Krishna сказал, что пламя, которое ржет в моем сердце, Кубидо, сжигает меня рано. With a very powerful poison. Please be merciful and place upon my head the soft petals of your lotus feet. So there are so many pastimes and I uh, reiterated reiterated a few of them last time. My understanding is that whatever the pastime was, however Krishna pretended to offend Radharani just to bring out her left wing Bob again, вызвать в ней память о Бабу, ее дух противоречия, строптивости. 
or that he accidentally offended her by being so absorbed in the features of her lovely lotus face that the features came upon his face in different places, like her lipstick, her mascara. That she thought he had just come back from another lover. Or because he had actually done something terrible. Regardless, at the end he's always praying to her that I'm dying in separation from you now because of your mind. Please, please be merciful and place your lotus feet on my head and forgive me. There's another verse that Gurudev quoted in this connection, but he didn't have it posted underneath. Manch mai man manidanam, which means, please, Krishna is appealing to Radharani, please collect all your man together, which is just like a money, a great jewel, and please bestow that upon my, myself, upon my head. Prabhu, do you know where that verse is from and do you know how to say it? I looked and I couldn't find it anywhere. I need to know for the memoir. Manchamai Mana Manidana. So that's uh, what I understand. Okay. Um, just a few things, a couple of things left over about this painting. It was when he was finally pleased at the end, seeing the um, pan and the unguents that he told me to put here in the containers and the two parrots, Suk and Sari, quarreling with each other, and the tamal tree and kadamba tree and the peacock tundavika that he told me about this verse. He was so concerned about presenting physically this verse that he was asking me about colors, sizes, what should it be on, like wood or carved. And then finally he said, oh, you choose. But he was so concerned about it. After five months, I told him the painting is not quite finished yet. And then he said, not finished? After you die, it will be finished. <laughs> when it was just about finished, he said, this has not come from your imagination. It has come from me. Actually, it has not come from me. It has come from my Guru Parampara. Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur has told about it. Srila Viswanath Chakrabarti Thakur has told about it. It has come from the heart of Srila Rupa Goswami. And actually it has come from the heart of Krishna because he wanted to see Radha and Man. 
На самом деле эта картина, она произошла из сердца Кришны, потому что он хотел увидеть такую разгневанную радику. Uh, I have a question. Uh, Shula Gurudev uh, said to put her in one of the paintings on a flower bed and flower petal bed. And I asked that how do you keep the flower petals together? Because wouldn't they all just fall over the place? And he said, you think about that. So I couldn't think about it. I wonder if you know something from Shastra. 